Well, it's almost 2 o'clock and I have not filmed a single clip for today's video. It's like 2 o'clock on a Thursday and I'm home alone. This is weird. What should I do? Being all home alone. Oh, I know what I can do. Something that I can't do when other people are around. I'm going to run around with a naked face. You thought I was going to say something dirty. Hi, Hobbs. Do you think I'm weird? ...side of the road and looks at me. I'm quite shy, she says. Huh? You can't help but pose a little. So you never really know. But this, that's what you look like. Jane puts two fingers against the face on the license, which I'm holding against my leg. So her fingers are on my leg, if you don't count the license. God, I forgot all about Pogo Dog. Me, are you kidding? He was going to make us rich. And she's buying it. Bye, derp. Spotted derp. Better nerd. Nerd. What? I love you. I found more keys and I found tiny keys. Yay, tiny keys. You look so studious with a giant book. What's up? Tonight's bedtime story is spooky because it's in the dark. Okay, so, um, basically the, the Dark Lord's castle where our zombie narrator has worked for the last three months or something uh, has just been deleted by these angel thingies of light. And most of the zombies are gone now, too. And now they're in a country church trying to figure out what's going on. We were crouched behind the bench on what Slippery John's three cohorts, on which Slippery John's three cohorts were sitting. So I carefully poked my head above the, the backrest to take a closer look at them. Sitting between the dwarf and the barbarian was a female warrior wearing ridiculously ornate spiky armor with tantalizingly large sections cut out of it. There was something terribly odd about the woman. Not the armor, that was standard adventurer fashion. Many armor shops specialize in that sort of thing. As a